don't know if he likes them. Yeah. <laughs> Here you go. All right. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to pick it up and we'll be home early tomorrow. Huh? All right. Talk to you later. Right. Here you go. Tell me about the true religion. They're both screaming and I couldn't hear anything. Here you go. It's about Jesus. Did anybody ever share with you about his love? That he died for us? Give your life to him. Hey here. Bob Marley, here we go. <laughs> here you go. Here you go. It's about Jesus. You should read it. Go save your life. Here you go. Has anybody shared with you about Jesus? Nope. Can we hear why? <laughs> Come on, just tell me why. I'm good. I love getting into these conversations. I want to hear what you have to say. I don't want to get into them. Okay. Well, take care. I hope you come to Jesus, though. It's important. Hey, guys. Have you heard the good news? Have you heard the good news? Here you go. Has anybody shared with you about Jesus? Uh, yeah. Really? Has anybody asked you the million dollar question? No. Okay, I'm going to ask you the million dollar question. If you were to die and God would ask you why he should let you into heaven, what would you tell him? Something that a lot of people will probably say that we've been good. Yeah, yeah. What's that? Something that a lot of people will probably say that we've been good enough to do. We've been kind, nice, and helpful. Uh -huh. And that we help those in need. That's, that's what you would say? Yeah. What's your name? Uh, Enrique. Enrique and David. How old are you? Uh, 15. That's a good answer, but it's the wrong answer. Do you know what the right answer is? Okay, let me show you something real quick. Do you have a Bible at home? Uh, yeah, I think we're Okay, right here in Romans, the book of Romans, it's just a book written to instruct us about like the truth of the gospel. It says, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. So, you know, just like you might say, I've tried to do a lot of good, the Bible says, and even our own hearts and our minds make clear, we've also done a lot of bad, right? We've all sinned, we've all missed it. So the thing that solves that isn't our effort to try to make ourselves a good person. It's what Jesus did on the cross when he died on the cross for your sins. Yeah. Sure. So has anybody shared with you about that, that Jesus Christ died on the cross so that you could be forgiven? Yeah. So now it's starting. Yeah. Have you, so have you made Jesus your, your Lord and Savior, your personal Lord and Savior? Yeah. yeah? You guys, you go to church anywhere with your family? Uh, yeah. Where, uh, at? Where do you guys go? Uh, we're by our neighborhood. What's the name? Is it Christian, Catholic, or what? I think it's Christian. Uh-huh. It's uh, St. John's. Uh -huh. Yeah. So when, when did you make that choice? Like, did you make it because you felt like God was working in your heart? Or did you only make it because your parents are Christian too? So you've never personally made that choice yet. Well, it's important to make that choice for yourself because God actually has a plan for your life and he loves you and he died for you. But it all comes down to this. Can we humble ourselves and admit to God how much we really need him and then let him be in control of our life? Are you willing to do that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> do you want to do that tonight? Mm, yeah. Uh, Can I lead you then in a prayer to, to do that? It's yeah. just like, it's Enrique, right? Yeah. So I'm just going to lead you in a prayer to just say, you know, Jesus, I want you to come into my life. And I, the, here's the thing. The key behind prayer isn't just saying the words, but it's meaning it in your heart. Yeah. So if I lead you in that prayer, will you mean it in your heart? Uh, to... <laughs> okay. Well, you know, pray with me then. Okay, just repeat after me. Say, Jesus, I want you to come into my heart. I want you to be the Lord of my life. And I want you to save me and forgive me for all the wrong I've ever done. 
I want you to be in control. I'm sorry for the ways that I mess up. I'm sorry for the ways I mess up. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Thank you that you died for me. Thank you that you died for me. I believe that you died for me. I believe that you died for me. And rose from the dead. I give every day of my life to you. I want you to be the God of my life. I want you to lead me. And I want to be your child forever. In Jesus' name. Amen. See, it's like a simple coming into a relationship with God is as simple as just meaning it in our heart. In Romans 6, it says, if we confess with our mouth that Jesus is Lord, say, saying, God, I want you to be in control, you know, and believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, then you'll be saved because it's with our heart that we believe and it's with our mouth that we confess them to salvation. So do you feel like you meant that in your heart? Yeah. Well, man, praise God. That's awesome. It's really making the choice for ourselves is really what it's all about because God doesn't intend it to just be a religious thing. God has a lot He wants to show you. He wants yeah. to show you the purpose why He made you. Because He made you with an awesome purpose and He loves you. He loves you more than you can imagine. The devil wants to try to destroy your life. And when we make a choice to give our life to Jesus, we're now part of the family of God. And God begins to direct our life and keep us. He keeps us from a lot of the ways that the enemy would want to try to trick us and deceive us. Do you have an email address or anything? You have Facebook? No. You have a... T no. I don't know. You don't have anything? No. Do you have internet? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Well, check it here. Check out our ministry website. I'd love for you to, like, give me a call sometime. Right. You don't have a phone or any way to get in touch with you? No. The house phone. That's uh -huh. all. Could I call you sometime and just check up and be like, hey, you know, you prayed that this prayer. How's, how's your life going? Um, probably. Yeah. That's cool with you? I mean, I'm not going to, yeah. like, call you every day or anything. Yeah. Just, like, call you in a week and be like, hey, man, how's it going? I met you at the swap meet. Uh, Is that cool with you? No, no, it's not. I'm probably going to get mad. Really? But they're Christian, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, you should tell them the choice that you made today, okay? Tell them, tell your parents, say, hey, I made a choice to, to give my life to Jesus for myself. And I'm sure they'll be proud of you and happy. But if you got internet, you know, just check, check like, yeah, shoot me an email or if you got a Facebook, you know, hit me up on Facebook because, right. you know, it's really the most important choice that anybody could ever make is to, to live for Jesus. So I'm proud of you, man. That's really good. Like, never forget, okay? No matter what happens in your life, no matter even if you go through trial or struggle, like, when you, what you prayed in your heart today was real. And God is real, and He's there for us in the midst of our trial and everything. Okay. Thank you. Cool. Take care. See you later.